is the 27th of January, 2015, Fort Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. Uh, this is uh, the inlet to the screw press. Here's the motor and gearbox. The, uh, inside the press, you can see the screw turning. Here's the screen with residue of shrimp on it from the blast test. Some of the uh, yeah, I really run it in water shrimp shells and then material we use to clean out the press. Here's what we're going to run. Uh, these are um, vanilla, vanilla beans. We're going to give that a try. Material we've just finished running with shrimp uh, shells. Earlier today we ran kelp. And um, one we still have to figure out how to run. This is from Nicaragua. This is um, tapioca, uh, cassava, and yucca. And one we're going to run in a couple of days is, um, this is sponge. It's actually metal and water and oil. Uh, so that is swarf. And we're going to dewater swarf, a high torque application. And we have a load of crumb rubber coming in, another high torque application. Uh, so that's coming up. A lot of testing going on right now uh, at Vincent Corporation. In case you're interested, this is a sample of the shrimp waste, shrimp shells that we received. And this is what the press cake looked like coming out. And uh, here's a sample of the press liquor. That was with steam injection. So it's a little thinner than the one without steam injection. And we're still cleaning out the press over here, getting ready to run the vanilla. Okay, we're getting the press started. That is, the white stuff is some stuff we clean the shrimp out of the press with. And here comes our wet vanilla beans. The, uh, or the flavoring oil has already been extracted. Here's, I'll run the cone in and give it a little back pressure so we can start squeezing some water out of the screen. Okay, the press is still starting up. But we can see we're getting, um, well, we're making a cake. We don't have it set for ultra high pressure. We're getting not that much liquid in proportion to the cake coming out. And it's definitely a dirty liquid. So, um, yeah, go ahead and stop the press. I'll get it. All right, here's what it looks like. Uh, we just slid the screen off. And I've been uh, knocking stuff out of the way here. You can see the interrupted flight design, flight's ending, the tooth goes in here, first stage of, whoops, flight ending, tooth goes in here, first stage of compression, another tooth, second stage of compression, third, fourth stage of compression. So far this looks pretty good. We went from uh, the previous screen had slots that are 16 thousandths of an inch wide. This screen is down to only 6 thousandths of an inch wide. They look white on the outside, but they narrow down in the center. But uh, you see the difference in the press liquor we're getting. Um, press cake. So the trick is to see if this keeps going or if it winds over. Okay, we uh, up the air pressure to two bar from one bar, making a drier cake with less of it. Um, we can see we're. We're getting, uh, for a while we were getting a lot of more fresh liquor out, but now it's limited to the first third of the screen. Uh, that is, we've blinded over the right-hand side of it, uh, half of the screen. I don't, yep, yeah, there's no liquid coming to speak of coming out there compared to down here. We'll keep it running and see what happens. Okay, we're putting on a perforated screen here. We'll see how that works. If I grab a fistful of these beans with my hand, there we go. I can squeeze a stream of water out, so the press ought to do that. Okay, um, yeah, cake's coming out a lot faster. We're getting more fresh liquor. Fresh liquor is dirty. Uh, the perforation hole size here is 33 thousandths of an inch. I would have preferred 23 thousandths, the next smaller size or the smallest size. Um, still, this is showing us a 
perforated screen works well. A um, um, screw running at high speed works well. We've got the air pressure set fairly low, one bar. Uh, that's probably working well. We'll run a moisture analysis, but uh, looking at this, we're getting a fair split between the amount of pressed liquor and pressed cake. Um, wouldn't surprise me if we're getting at least a quarter, maybe one third by weight to go out as that pressed liquor. Not flowing uh, as well as I would like, a little bit too thick. Um, the 023 hole instead of 033 probably work better. Oh, these, this stuff is very slippery. If I grab a fistful of press cake here, uh, I can still get a film between my fingers, but I don't get a stream of water out anymore. So we have removed a bunch of free water. Okay, we're cleaning out this press to uh, getting the vanilla beans, spent vanilla beans. This is vanilla bean waste uh, out of the press. Getting ready for our next test. Uh, but looking around here in the pilot plant area, uh, you see uh, screw presses, or just one after another after another. Uh, the shredder and fiber filter, screw presses, rotary drum screen, screw press, screw press, screw press, uh, screw presses of all sizes. Uh, we're looking down, uh, getting the screw cleaned up here, but. Um, that's a screw department where they manufacture screws. And, um, oh, screws. there we go. Anyway, that's Vincent. We've got this huge rental fleet of whatever uh, size machine you might need to uh, run a pilot or full production operation. This is the 27th of January.